2016 t-shirt today at the InfoWars store. Hurry up because these things are selling out faster than Hillary Clinton. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade, bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. I'm running for president. Everyday Americans need a champion, and I want to be that champion. I'm hitting the road to earn your vote, and I hope you'll join me on this journey. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1 888 253 3139. Welcome back to the InfoWars Nightly News coverage of the live Democrat debate, the first of six debates only. Uh, this is the CNN debate. They took a brief uh, commercial, and they're coming back, they say, to talk about climate change and marijuana. I guess uh, maybe now marijuana is the source of climate change. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go to see what they're uh, saying right now. Fighting for kids, for women, for families fighting to even the odds. Yeah. She's not a political insider. She's an outsider because she's a woman. How to find common ground. She's doing it for the kids and for women. Mm. And I think not for men, though. Both of those <laughs> in Washington. Yeah. I understand. It's not for men. Just as race has been divided, about, yeah. families, husbands, wives, men, women so will be divided. Men don't have any place have in the Hillary the America. <laughs> she's fighting for women and children. Lifetime <laughs> and the experience of a lifetime to bring together uh, to offer the American people. Governor Malley, do you want to tell Secretary Clinton why she shouldn't get the crown? <laughs> well, yeah. well, actually, it is a know, coronation, we, we had it? this conversation, and I will tell, I will share with you that I've traveled all around the country, Anderson, and um, there's two phrases I keep hearing again and again and again. Hillary from prison. The phrase is new leadership and getting things done. We cannot be this dissatisfied with our gridlock. You know, I think looking at these different candidates, it's quite clear that if there's going to be anybody besides Hillary, it's going to have to be somebody like Biden. You know, I, I, think, I think it's funny because I've been all over the country the past few months 
Court. And the I phrase that I've been hearing is Hillary president for president. And her husband yeah. have done for our country. <laughs> but our country needs new leadership to move forward. Secretary Clinton, you have to be able to respond well, if you I want. And you can also go to the InfoWars store and pick up your Hillary for Prison 2016 t-shirt. And on the back it says legalize freedom. Look at what I accomplished. That's the phrase uh, that pays. Senate, Secretary of State. <laughs> uh, and then draw your own conclusion. Uh, I certainly am this not uh, campaigning to become president because my the last Clinton name is Clinton. Network. Uh, I'm right. campaigning because I think <laughs> I have the right combination of what the country needs at this point, and I think I can take the fight to the Republicans because we cannot afford you know, a Republican. These men the on right either stuff. side of me are window dressing, paying no attention to them or anything they have to say. I got all the super delegates. Yeah, there is especially because they're men. All over this country with establishment politics. I am the only candidate running for president who is not a billionaire who has raised substantial sums of money, and I do not have a super PAC. I am not raising money from millionaires and billionaires. I have a socialist PAC. I've got a PAC with a double. 4,000 house parties, 100,000 people in this country watching this debate tonight who want real change in this country. Got 4,000 house parties. We got about uh, climate change. I want to go to Don Lemon. Don? All right, this one is from Martin O'Malley, Anderson. Governor O'Malley, this is from Anna Bettis from Tempe, Arizona. Here it is. As a young person, I'm very concerned about climate change and how it will affect my future. As presidential candidate, what will you do to address climate change? Well, wow, these this random guy. questions from We're Facebook going to kill are you. just so We're random. going to kill you so quickly you won't even ex exhale any carbon dioxide, you idiot. <laughs> and I'm the only candidate, I believe. I'll affect my future. That's really what's going to happen. People don't realize there's too many breathers out there. How will you keep the sky from falling? It was How did the environment last challenge. all these and we solved it as a nation. centuries and our without nation you? Will this one. So I put forward the plan that would extend the investor tax credits for solar and for wind. If you go across Iowa, you see that 30% of their energy now comes from wind. We're here in Las Vegas, one of the most sustainable cities in America, doing important things in terms of green. Did he say Las Vegas is a, with all the water they have, right? <laughs> yeah. Very sustainable. Nation, but it's going to require president. It looks like Mars. And as president, I intend to sign as my very first order in office. The, Where are they shipping their water in from? And one of our camera guys, Travis, just said you could power the earth on the hot air these guys are expelling right now. Governor O'Malley, thank you very much. Senator Webb, you have a a very different view than just about anybody else on the stage and unlike Clinton, a lot of Democrats. You're could, pro coal, you're do pro that for offshore climate. drilling, you're pro Keystone Pipeline, or again, are you, the question is, are you out of step with the Democratic Party? Well, the, the question yeah. really is... Are you in step with reality and out of step with the Democrats? Energy problems well, are here you? And in the global <laughs> environment, if you really want to address climate change. <clears throat> when I was in the Senate, I was an all of the above energy uh, voter. We introduced legislation to bring in alternate energy as well as nuclear power. I'm a strong proponent of nuclear and power. None of their legislation will be for like personalized and solar or personalized wind, which could work yes. on a level. Yes. You know, if you were able to free that up for people, it's all about making it go back into the grid. It's all about controlling it. It's all about tying into the grid. They don't want any self-sufficiency. They go after people in Florida who try to come off the grid. They're like, nope, you can't do it. We're going to put you in jail. Exactly. So it's not about individuality mm -hmm. That's right. and self and self sustainability right. well it's like all of these policies rob you know they don't want the individuals to have power they don't want the individuals to have choice every one of these things that they put forward removes your choices makes life here for you more expensive takes away opportunity and that's precisely what we're looking at in terms of the war on coal we've mentioned this many times uh, you can get zero emission coal plants if you want, uh, if you're that concerned about carbon dioxide. We know that plants breathe in carbon dioxide. They haven't, even though carbon dioxide they've measured going up, they've seen the temperature going down. So uh, the science is not settled on this. Well, oh, here we go. Pope Francis. The there EPA we go. said that sunlight is bad for plants. Yeah. So <laughs> the science is settled. <laughs> carbon. And let me also it's not what plants yeah. crave. It's not. So he's citing <laughs> Pope Francis because you've got to understand that global warming is fundamentally a religion. Mm. It's a religion. Everything that you do, you have to pay an indulgence tax to some billionaire. He's not for billionaires. Come on, he's pushing global carbon taxes so he can get uh, people like Al Gore wealthy. That's what the Pope, that's what Bernie Sanders is pushing now with this. The billionaires 
who run the carbon trading system. That's yeah. who we're going to give this money to. They're the billionaires us. who run that. Yeah, yeah. And I were hunting for the Chinese, going throughout this huge convention center because we knew we had to get them to agree to something because there will be no effective efforts against climate change unless China and that's what's so dangerous India this time around they the have now the gotten a uh, an agreement who knows how they're going to enforce it with the Chinese but now the Chinese have said yes uh, unlike uh, the last time uh, we're going to say that we're going to do something to uh, cap emissions and so that's what they're going to use to try to push through uh, global taxation cap and tax legislation here in America, they're going to say, well, the Chinese are on board. Because last time it was pretty obvious when they want to talk about global warming and they don't have the Chinese making any sacrifices whatsoever. But they also play the kind of games the Chinese will pledge to something that is 10, 15 years down the road. They'll have a small uh, decrease, whereas we're going to get hit with massive cuts. It's not going to be uh, equal treatment, even though they're the ones who are putting out the dirtiest power in the most massive uh, quantities. Kid, you got something on Twitter. Yes, uh, I got this slightly inappropriate tweet from Philip. It says, Bernie Sanders should just have a sex change and get a room with Hillary Clinton. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Uh, recently, Hillary Clinton was lecturing Donald Trump on how he should have more respect for women. But remember, it was Hillary who was the one that was covering up her husband's sex crimes yes. while he was in office. Yes. So if anyone really needs to learn how to have more respect for women, it needs to be Hillary. As and Kathleen Woolley said, uh, Hillary Clinton is the war on yeah, women. She has right. enabled and helped her husband because it's all about power. Yeah, and David, here's a less. scary thing to me is that Matt Drudge last week, he said that, you know, why is anyone asking about Hillary's lovers? And to me, that's scary because it's like, if she can cover that up, what else is she covering up that we don't know about? I mean, uh, we already no. know about the secret email server and this and that, but it's what we don't know about that's very concerning. And it should be to any American, not just me. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Incredible challenges that so many parents face, particularly working moms. I see my good friend, Senator Gillibrand, in the front row. She's been a champion of this. We need to get a consensus through this campaign, which is why I'm talking about it. See, again, I go. it's another and mandate. And, you know, the there's a lot of companies that will offer Clinton, paid maternity leave. Really That's one of the things that you negotiate. Friend. What we need to figure out is how we have jobs in this country. Because we're exporting the jobs and we're importing the workers and all the jobs have been created numerically since 2008 have gone to foreign workers. Maybe they should have that discussion when they talk about open borders, but they won't. Sympathizers who say you can't have paid leave, you can't provide health care. They don't mind having big government to interfere with a woman's right to choose and to try to take down Planned Parenthood. They're fine with big government when it comes to that. I'm That's the only choice that Hillary wants you to have. Everything else is mandated in her world except the death of your children. If you choose to kill your children, hey, government should butt out of that, shouldn't they? Big government this, big government that, except for what they want to impose on the American people. I know. I am so sick of people. They're not like that at all. I am so sick of the Hillary Clintons and the radical feminists who say that they're pro-choice and they deny every choice in your life except aborting a child. Including some small countries. What hypocrites? Say that when a mother has. They don't want you to even have a choice as to whether or not to vaccinate your children, how your children are going to be educated. Nothing. No choice about anything other than an abortion. Family, paid family and medical leave. Second of all, you know, the secretary is right. Republicans tell us we can't do anything except give tax breaks to billionaires and cut Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. That's not what the American people want. Governor O'Malley? Yes. American people want dead babies in our state and a glass. Expanded family leave, and I have to agree with Secretary Clinton and Senator Sanders. Look, the genius of our nation is that we find ways in every generation to include more of our people more fully in the economic life of our country. And we need to do that for our families, especially to, so that women aren't penalized and having to drop out of the workforce. You have to understand that every time they do these kinds of business regulations, what they're doing is they're sawing off the lower rungs of the ladder for anybody who wants to start their own business. If you want to start your own business? Well, you're going to have to have paid maternity leave. You're going to have to have this. You're going to have to have that. That's all fine. That's well and good. But the way that you want to grow in your future is not necessarily by being a lifetime employee. You want to be able to have the opportunity to start your own business. And these kinds of regulations, even though they may sound good, are essentially cutting off the ladder of opportunity for people. 
That's why big business really does support this. Large companies don't have any problem paying these kinds of regulations, just as when you looked at the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the regulation that was put through by the two Democrats who retired, uh, Frank, Dodd-Frank. The regulations that they put through on financial issues on buying a home, 